Okay, this is Hana Mei Lee. She has been in uh, dozens of national commercials in many print companies. Eh, try it again. Take two. Okay, this is Hana Mei Lee. She has been in dozens of national commercials in many um, print campaigns, um, done runaway shows, and I'm here to ask her some questions. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I just want to make sure what it was right. doing. Okay. okay, we'll do it again. Take three. Take three. <laughs> Okay, this is Hana Mei Lee. She has been in dozens of national commercials, many uh, print campaigns, and done um, runaway shows. And I'm here to ask her some questions for beginners. Um, okay, we're in Hollywood now. It's very competitive here for um, people who wants to model and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, can you give advice? Because um, a lot of people were telling me um, some of the people have to pay like hundreds of dollars for an agent, and they promised them they're going to get them gigs and stuff and they didn't get like nothing came out of it it was a waste of money yeah unfortunately there are a lot of scam artists in LA and they're really good actors too so you kind of have to do your research before going in and uh, just forking up some money now um, it is true that you need to take photos but you should never pay your agent those photo fees that's a red flag if an agent says, well, we'll represent you, you just need to pay a $5,000 or $1,000 fee to get pictures done, then that means they're a scam. Um, they'll, ha they'll usually give you a list of photographers that they recommend. You don't have to shoot with them, they just recommend them because they're good. Um, and you know, you can see how much they charge, do your own photos, and then give those to your agent and they'll choose. The only type of fee you're p you should pay is if you're on a website. Um, like LA Casting or Actors Access um, that you pay like a, a one-time fee to put your photos up. What about um, if the age, supposedly the agent said, okay, um, I could get you this commercial, but I want you to take an acting class, but it costs a couple, or like $500, $600. Um, Are this, is that a scam or what? It depends. If you've been with your agent for about three to six months and they keep sending you out on commercials and you're not booking any because the casting director says that your acting sucks, mm -hmm. then it's something to consider. But if they say you need to pay us the money to take the commercial class, then that's the scam. And especially if you're already if you just got there and they want to sign you and they're saying take a class, then that's kinda of weird. Unless you read something and it totally sucked and you have a great look. So I would say that um, to do your research on each of the agencies you go to and make sure that they're credible and that, that they are with the union, with SAG, their friend, uh, so that they're uh, represented correctly. Okay, um, give us some advice because there's, um, I've been meeting a lot of um, women at the clubs and stuff, they were talking to me and they were saying that, yeah, um, I want to be a model but I'm still doing waitress, I can't get any modeling gigs and I can't get anything, like uh -huh. how could people um, get get that job they want to, I mean, they want it. Well, um, number one, agents never get you jobs. They send you out on auditions, uh -huh. and then it's up to the clients that are there to either have you and bring you forward or not. So if an agent says, I'm going to get you all these jobs, that's, you know, either they're scamming you or they're using incorrect terminology because they can only give you auditions. Mm -hmm. um, unless it's like a modeling agency that, that knows their client really well and knows that you're gonna book it. Um, so I would say that number one, um, go to Samuel French or a bookstore that has a booklet that's, uh, I think it says agencies in LA and it's usually like a, a letter size booklet and it has all the agencies that are franchised by SAG and it'll tell you what they're looking for. So see if you are, which type of person you are and mm -hmm. send your p pictures and photos to those agents and you'll know that <clears throat> they're good or not and you can google them but I would say number one pictures are worth a thousand words and that's what is going to bring you in the audition make sure that your headshots are up to date don't take like I would just say spend the extra hundred dollars and um, get the better photographer uh, research your photographers. <laughs> K2 Photo and Autumn Lee um, Photo is great. They're two of my favorite headshot photographers and Sean Smith. Um, but, you know, you want photos that most express you and that will get you out. So don't put a lot of makeup on unless you're doing a fashion photo. Um, 
So make sure your photos are up to date and that they represent you very well and then, you know, submit those to the agencies you want to be with. All right, we're talking about a couple hundred dollars here. Yeah. What if it's somebody who came from the out of the state to move to Hollywood, who wants to be a model, uh -huh. and they're broke as hell, they have no money. Is there any way they could get like free photo headshots and stuff? That's a good question. Um, and they have like no money in their pocket, barely yeah. surviving. Good luck. No, <laughs> actually what you can do is if you go to UCLA uh -huh. or Art Center or Otis College of Art and Design or a lot of these art colleges, there are a lot of photographers that um, are there that are students so you can contact them and they will actually shoot you for free in exchange of your model services you'll mm -hmm. get a free CD and then they also get to practice their work so I would say do that there's there's students that are always looking for models and actors because they want to build their portfolio as well so it's not impossible there's a lot of things out there that you can do that as far as Craigslist goes and um, like model mayhem I'd say be um, double check you know don't just say yes to everything because there are a little like some weird people out there so just be careful so you should take a friend with you just be safe in case yeah I would Photoshop. why not okay tell me about your past I heard you, you got ripped off when you were young I did can you and give us they're a story in about jail that? now <laughs> um, but when I was 14 um, it was my first agency that I was with they were called glamour models and um, they said, oh, you have a great look, you just need to take photos. You know, I didn't have photos, so I did need to take photos. And they said, we have this photographer, you need to do makeup, you need to do a stylist, you know, um, the whole nine yards. So they said, you need to go with our agency and you need to pay us because we'll pay the photographer. And you know, when you're young, you just, you just want things so bad that you don't do a lot of research. So um, I paid... A total of probably like fifteen hundred dollars. Oh my and, gosh. Yeah. yeah. And and then and then three months later I didn't have any auditions. So they said, Maybe it's your pictures. And I said, I just spent like fifteen hundred dollars on these photos. They're like, Well, you know, how how far are you gonna go to make your career happen? So of course I didn't because it's like something's weird enough. So and then when I called another agency and said I was with the Glamour Models, they said, Oh, we know about them. So it's like you want to do your research before signing anything. Um, and just don't let your emotions get in the way of that. Like if you want something really bad, still be smart about it. Google them. You know, that's the great thing about now. You have Google. So you can look at all these things. So it's great. So there are a lot of scam artists out there. There are. You have to be careful. A lot of people get ripped off. Yes. Um, did I ask you also, like, um, people who can't get any modeling gig and they're new to it, can you give advice? Sure. Well, also, what I think is really helpful for the model and um, for the actors is to know where you fit in. So, are you 5'9 and taller and um, are you a size 0 to a 2 with a great face and great like dieting habits? Then I would say you're runway material. If not, if you're shorter, then you should think about doing lifestyle. So, that way you're not wasting your time and, you know, it's kind of like a reality check, like where do I fit in? Um, and see if you're like hip and cool, then submit to the hip cool agents. You know, if you're just kind of like mainstream, then submit to the mainstream agents. And you know, if you don't hear anything, try to take photos. Take photo. Maybe your photos aren't working. So research photographers. You know, the few that I mentioned, they're amazing because they grasp your personality and they grasp you. Yes. This sounds really cool. I want to be a model. You know, model. you know what, Ocean Yoga, actually I was thinking the same thing because you have a great look, you're 5'11", that's like perfect, you, you're thin, you're fit, and you have all these cool tattoos and like, I think my agency would love you, you'd make so much money. <laughs> but um, there's one thing. What? Uh, I don't wear leather, I don't wear fur, and I don't, I only wear, st st I try to wear everything that's um, sweatshop free, no big corporation. Uh-huh. Yeah, let me think about that for a second. No, yeah, you would not, like, I don't know who would represent you. <laughs> you know, I would suggest, you know, just do it and take the money and do something good with it, you know. But that, I would say, is extremely limiting your options, and maybe this isn't the career path you want. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Bye.